Hello friends, welcome to next tutorial in ChatGPT RPS series. In today's blog, we will write code to mask and unmask certain columns in a data file. Link to this YouTube playlist and GitHub repository source code is included below in this video description. So let's browse to our GitHub RPA repository. In the readme file, if you are looking for a file encryption and decryption script, you will find link to the other notebook here. In today's video, we will write code to mask certain columns given in a data file and then unmask it back. Here are the steps we are going to take to accomplish this task. First, we'll make sure that we have appropriate packages installed. In this case, we need pandas. So we'll do the pip install pandas. Then we are going to read the file. We are routing on some states and we are going to mask certain columns. This notebook also includes original chat GPT generated code, which works just fine. If you query chat GPT, that is write code to mask and unmask certain columns in a data file, it will generate similar kind of code. And if you copy paste this code, this works just fine. But we will write each line so that it, this code can be customized for our purpose. So let's spin a new notebook here. Let's begin with importing OS package here. Operating system package has a function list directory and it lets you display the content of a directory. All right, so OS list directory, sample data. As you can see, there are two folders, one CSV file and one image file. This is the CSV file, sample data.csv, which we need to, uh, where we need to mask for certain columns. So to do that, we'll need the pandas package. Let's do pip install pandas. Pip install pandas. As you can see, I already have this installed. Now let's import it. Import pandas as pd. First thing what we are going to do, we are going to read the content of this CSV to a data frame. So df equals to pd.readcsv and give the path to this CSV file. And let's display the first 10 or 15 rows. All right, so as you can see, this is a very simple CSV file. It has a, some kind of a deposit, amount, uh, rate of interest, time, rate, compound, etc. Here in this instance, for example, we want to mask certain columns. So let's say rate of interest and rate. For some reason, I do not want uh, my users to see what are the actual rate of interest. So simply what we are going to do, first you define the list of the columns which you need to mask. And then all you need to do, create a list column to mask and pass all those column names to those columns to mask list. And uh, simply then all you need to do is simply variable assignments. So I'm going to access all those columns in the data frame and I'm going to assign a static value, which is must. You can assign anything. And as you can see, if you execute this code, all the things inside that ROI column and rate column have been replaced by, uh, by asterisk or mask. All right. So next thing you want to do, so you want to write these uh, encrypted values, not the encrypted actually, these are the masked values to a CSV. Very simply, all you need to do, simply df.2 CSV and pass those uh, uh, data frame, the new data frame in mask content to this new CSV file. Now, if I access the list directory again here, as you can see, it has created a new file called mask table.csv. So now let's go try to unmask those. So if you to do the unmask those, you will need the original CSV and you will need this masked data CSV. So let's read the content of the masked uh, CSV to the masked data frame. And we are going to also read the content from the original data frame. All right. So now let's do one thing. It looks pretty good. And then simply you create a for uh, loop. If you have one column, you don't need the for uh, loop, but because we have two columns, because in, you see in our columns to mask list, we had two different columns. So I'm just going to, you know, uh, loop through the, uh, the entire content of that list. And for each column, all we need to do, we are going to replace the mask data frame column by the original data frame column, very simple. And once this is done, all we need to do, we need to write those um, back to a new CSV file. All right, it looks pretty good. So now save the unmasked data to the new file. And we are just going to create, uh, say for example, unmasked data frame, unmasked table.csv, all right. So it looks pretty good. And now let's try to see the content just to verify that, make sure that it has already generated those values on, uh, generated the new CSV or not. So if you see, as you can see, it has already created a new CSV file. Now let's go just to, you know, just for the sake of sanity check, let's read the CSV file and verify the content. All right. And if you put this unmasked data frame and the original data frame side by side, you should see that unmasked data frame has successfully retained or like re recapture uh, 
um, the original master values here. All right, but this is not it. Actually, sometimes what your requirement is, instead of just masking those or like, you know, you could have just got rid of those columns. There is no need to mask this. So for example, um, there is a requirement, suppose you have some telephone numbers, you want to mask it and uh, you have social security number or any other, other kind of like sensitive data. So in that, those cases, for example, you want to display the last three digits or last four digits. And it's very common in case of credit card or account number to display only last four digits. So in those kind of, you know, places, instead of doing the variable assignment, you have to do the actual data transformation. So I'm going to show you two snippets here. So for example, in this case, as you can see, in this data frame, let's take an example of the compound. So compound, um, you can just simply call a mask function, but for example, your compound, your requirement is anything more than certain values and you want to assign a new value. So all we need to do, so df and compound, and you just say mask and inside the mask pass the condition. So for example, anything data dot compound is greater than say certain value, say data compound, uh, let's say greater or equal to 4.0 and then you want to assign it a new value say 99 or something like it So it's going to replace anything above 4.0. It will be replaced by that number. All right, let's run this and Let's access see it has replaced all those values here Similarly, let's uh, try to uh, use the mask function on another column say let's say rate for example your requirement is to only display the last four characters of the rate so it could be credit card number or anything, but example is the same. So similar, uh, same, same thing, what we are going to do, df.rate, and we are going to call the mask function on this data frame uh, column. And all you need to do here, uh, we'll pass the condition that is not equal to null. If it is null, you don't care anyway, right? So if df.rate is not equal to null, then all you need to do here, we are going to say df rate and let's prefix it by three or four asterisks, whatever your requirement is. So the star, star, star and plus, and what we are going to say, and you can, you know, give this format, whatever format works with you. In my case, I'm just giving a star, star, star plus df rate. And we are going to take the string out of it and read the last four characters. Simple. Now, if I run this, should should have a star 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 followed by the last three or four characters all right so that's how you do the simple masking there are other techniques as well and those were those are going to you know just google it and you will see a lot of different examples if you have any issues any questions please feel free to open a defect on my github repository and i'll be happy to answer that thank you very much